Hey guys, we are on our way to go make a new video. Um, we're gonna go see my friend that I haven't seen in probably a long time. Um, his name is uh, John Procha, and I don't know if you guys, how long some of you guys have been on Instagram, but his 350Z's been around quite a bit on there. So we're gonna go video his car and uh, hope you guys enjoy, enjoy it. I love his car. Um, I just thought, hey, why not do a video on it and see uh, what you guys think and um, maybe you guys will enjoy everything about the car that I do because I, I love that thing, everything about it. So anyways, uh, yeah, so keep watching guys. This car is so sick. This car is so sick, bro. <laughs> this is John Parocha. This is his 350Z. Um, when did you buy your car? So I bought the car back in 2005. At the time, I was looking for a Honda S2000. You know, I had a Civic back in the day, and you know, I came from the Honda game. So, what better way to upgrade than to a Honda S2000? So at the time. The dealer I was trying to work with on buying S2000 didn't want to go down on price, and luckily someone had just traded in this Z uh, with 3,000 miles on it, and uh, I threw an offer out there, 19,000. It was 5,000 under Blue Book at the time, and that's what I got it for. Why is it? Why is this Z special to you? I mean, you've had it for quite a while now, so. Well, man, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears gone through this car. You know, uh, I've had this car since 05, pretty much. This was my daily driver up until 2013. Um, it's gone through so many changes. Uh, I started off autocrossing the car, you know, thinking I wasn't going to do any mods. And at some point, I'm like, well, let me throw some wheels on it. So I bought uh, the uh, Time Attack CE28s. And you know what? Let me drop it. So I dropped it and, you know, autocrossed it some more. And uh, started adding all sorts of suspension pieces to it. And the next thing you know, I'm like, well, Want a little more power out of it, so then you do the exhaust, bolt-ons, you know, up rev tune, all that stuff, and um, yeah, it's just gone through a lot of changes. And so since you're already talking about it, what, what's all been basically done? I know there's quite a bit of stuff, just uh, just some quick big things that's been done to the Z. Um, as far as suspension mods, anything you can think of, um, coilovers, uh, tie rods, camera arms, uh, bushings. Um, Basically, for the engine, uh, any any bolt-ons you can think of, Motordyne, uh, M-Rev, intake, exhaust, headers, um, upper rev tune. Also, I've got a ACT uh, Pro Clutch with the, uh, the Pro Flywheel, um, 3.9 final drive. So, it's not the fastest Z in town, but you know. So, uh, what's, what's next? Is it... I know you said something off camera basically about selling the car possibly, but... Um, I'm wishy-washy about it, man. Like, I, I love this car just because so much blood, sweat, and tears has gone into it, you know? And it, it's, it's, it's been a big part of my life for a while. But, um, something vintage Japanese, you know? Maybe Datsun 240Z, 72 Skyline, Datsun 510. But, um, whatever project it's going to be, it's going to be vintage and badass, so... Sweet. And last thing, uh, what's any funny stories with the Z? <laughs> so, you know, if you look here, I've got these bumper clips, and I mean, it's not the lowest Z in town, but it's still pretty low, and I'm notorious for just wrecking bumpers, you know, I had, I had C-West, this is, I think, my second or third C-West carbon fiber lift, uh, I've gone through three Amuse bumpers, uh, I've got the C-West long nose that's in the shop right now, because I cracked it last year at Week Fest, and, uh, yeah, I'm just notorious for, you know, breaking bumpers. And so when people ask me, what are these clips for? It's just so, you know, get my bumper off and on instead of breaking it. But I always end up just cracking bumpers. Well, sweet. Thanks, John, for uh, coming out and uh, let me video the car and basically interview. Hey 
Okay, so um, that's basically John's car. I guys hope you guys enjoyed his car as much as I do every time I see it. I love his car. I think I told him that at least five, six times while I was doing that video with him. Um, but anyways, he's, he's got a great car. He's had it for a long time. It's sad that he's thinking about getting rid of it. Uh, but hey, you know, sometimes you got to move on. So. Uh, thanks, John, uh, for letting me video you, um, video in your car and interviewing you. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Uh -huh.